This is a demonstration of the Stingray Collective Pitch uh, quadcopter running in RealFly 7.5. And what I'm going to do is fly it using ArduPilot. So I'll just uh, introduce you to the Stingray first of all. If I zoom in here and we can have a bit of a look close up here, then you'll see that this quadcopter is a little bit unusual in that each of the four rotor blades have collective pitch. So instead of having four motors, it's got a single motor, and then that single motor drives all four blades at the same RPM, and then it uses collective pitch on each blade for both uh, for the overall thrust of the vehicle, plus also for uh, roll pitch and yaw. So if I give a little bit of roll input, yes, you can't see it much, it's very fine. There's a fine movement as I give roll and pitch there. You might be able to see a tiny amount of blade movement there. All right, so uh, I'm just going to zoom back out here. And in fact, before I zoom out, I might as well um, arm the vehicle. So I'll arm it. And now that it's armed, I am going to start the rotors. So there's the rotors running. And I'm just going to zoom back out here to normal view. And we'll watch what it's like to fly. So just to start things off, I'm going to um, uh, put it into loiter mode. And so there it is in loiter mode, and I will take off. All right, and then I'll just bring it back here a little bit so you can sort of see what it's like in flight. And there it is. All right, and so what I'm going to do now is fly it around a little bit and I am going to send it off on a auto mission. So I've got a little auto mission prepared here. So there it's going to head off on that first leg of its auto mission. There it is heading up to the northeast waypoint. It's using spline waypoints. So it'll then uh, turn around and in an arc and come in on the next waypoint. So part of the reason that this type of um, quadcopter is interesting is because you can choose to power it with something other than electric motor. Uh, so non-electric quadcopters are interesting for their potential for endurance. And so although this one is an electric model, um, collective pitch quadcopters uh, can be used with a, uh, a petrol motor as well. All right, so coming back around. And after it's coming up here, I will tell it to RTL, so to finish its mission. So I've now put it into RTL mode, and it'll now come back above the return location and it'll start descending and then finally it'll land on the runway. There it is, land, landed back at its original position. And now it's uh, spooling down the motors. It's actually just um, uh, spooling down rather quickly. It's actually just the collective coming down and then it uh, cut off the motor. I haven't actually set it up to spool down the motors slowly like you can do with, uh, with the helicopter uh, motor control code. Anyway, that's the Stingray. Um, so yet to try it on the real vehicle. Um, luckily I've got one of those. I've got one that's... Uh, based on the Stingray that Randy sent me, so I'll give that a fly fairly soon. But um, I hope you've enjoyed uh, watching it fly in a simulator. Thanks. Bye.